It all starts. It all start. It all. It all. It all. Hey there, and welcome to Daily Life TV. Here, you will learn how to take action and make it real. I'm your host, Mastin Kip, founder of the DailyLove.com. Daily Love TV is a collaborative process. I'm here to give you the best information I know to help take your life to the next level. If you have a question for me, send an email to DailyLoveTV at the DailyLove.com. Have you ever wanted to start a business, but the fear of being broke held you back? This is a common fear all of us have when we first start out. And most of us have, even when we become, quote, successful. A daily lover wrote in and asked, how did you get over your fear of economic insecurity when chasing after your dreams? For some reason, I'm terrified of being broke. I totally resonate with this question because guess what? I still feel this way. Human beings are wired to survive, which means we seek to avoid pain instead of choosing to feel good. It's this hard wiring that keeps us alive, but can also hold us back from living our dreams. When it comes to starting a business, any business, there will always be risk. Why? Because that is the nature of the game. The question becomes, how much risk can you comfortably live with? When I started The Daily Love, I took a massive risk. I remember deciding that I would rather live on a beach in Venice, California broke with my laptop than go back to my corporate job in the music business. I went all in and ended up couch surfing for almost two years. But I also took a calculated risk. I knew that the world always has and always will need inspiration. So it was a safe bet that the daily love could be successful because there is no lack of demand for love, inspiration, and encouragement. So I went all in, knowing I could fail, but not going back, not giving in to the more certain plan B back in the music business. And since making that decision almost six years ago, there hasn't been one day that's gone by where I haven't been afraid of going broke running out of money, or just failing. I remember one time in the early days of the daily love, I needed $500 for groceries, but nothing was happening money-wise with TDL. I checked the mail a couple of days later and I got a check for $500 from a daily love reader when I needed it most. The universe is always here to support you. Here are some tips on handling money fears when it comes to your dreams. One, remember when you were most down and out when you hit rock bottom. At rock bottom, what happened? Did you make it through? Make a list of all the fears you had when you were at that lowest point. Now think about it. Did any of them come true? And if they did, did you get through it to where you are today? There is amazing power in remembering how strong you've been in the past and knowing that no matter what may come, that you have what it takes to make it through. Two, know the consequences of not living your dream. Imagine your life in 10, 20, or 30 years from now. If you don't go all in on your dreams, what is your life like in the future? Are you happy or depressed? Are you living your dreams or a life of regret? I know it totally sucks to think about this, but imagine yourself living with regret. The pain of not getting what you want can be a powerful force that will give you the hunger you need to make your dreams come true. Three, make a fear list. I love fear lists. Make a list of all the things you are most scared of happening. Maybe it's economic ruin, maybe it's total abandonment, Maybe it's that you will be cursed by God and you will spontaneously combust into nothingness. Whatever it is, jot down five to 10 things that you are really scared might happen if you decide to follow your dreams or to start your business. Getting your fears out can be very therapeutic. Four, create an action plan. Now that you know what your fears are, you can start taking action to make sure they never come true. And if they do, you will have a plan to get yourself out of it. Generally speaking, we have fear because we are trying to protect ourselves. When we take action to avert our fears, it's like being the captain of a ship that sees a storm ahead and can change course. Fear gives you discernment and is an opportunity to take action. The more you speak, the more people unsubscribe. Everyone has fear of not having enough. This question becomes, what are you going to do with this fear? So here's the plan. In the comments below, let me know what your economic fears about living your dream are. Then leave your fear action plan. What are you going to do about those fears? Join in on the conversation. Remember, the universe has your back and you have the power to get through whatever may come. You've already gotten through rock bottom and come out the other end a survivor. 
Don't let the fear of not having enough money hold you back. You are more supported than you know. The Daily Love community is a group of seriously loving, caring folks. Hit up thedailylove.com and leave your comment and join in on the conversation and meet and support these amazing people. Also, we publish a rockin' daily email full of inspiration from me and all kinds of amazing experts from around the world. Head on over to thedailylove.com and sign up for our email to get these awesome daily doses of love. Until next time, this is Master Kip saying take action and make it real. Marie Forleo's B School is here and I'm so excited because she has the best training I know to learn how to take really your passion and turn it into a business. We've set up some amazing free bonuses to inspire you to get on the B-School train. Head on over to bschool.thedailylove.com to check it all out. It all ends March 5th, so get on it.